Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include MEPs say countries must have more budget management responsibility. Herman von Rompuy set to retire next year. The EU should back social insurance for poor nations. Organised crime gangs are flourishing in the EU. And EU plans new laws to bite Apple. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First up, from our homepage, with the current hiatus in Cyprus that has resulted in civilian financial lockdown, hmm, I wonder where that sort of tyrannical government behaviour took place before, this article looks at calls from MEPs to have greater national management responsibility for the EU budget. The article goes on to consider how and where EU budget spending should be deployed. The President of the European Council, sometimes incorrectly referred to as the President of the European Union, is a principal representative of the European Union on the world stage. Although granted a similar figurehead status to that of the President of the United States of America, the President of the EU Council is not elected by the people. He or she is appointed from within. Current President Herman von Rompuy was elected in 2010 as the EU's first permanent president of the EU Council, which was a new position created by the Lisbon Treaty. His two-and-a-half-year mandate was renewed in 2012. But under EU rules, the EU Council chief can only serve two terms, meaning von Rompuy cannot stand for re-election in November 2014 when his mandate ends. With the economic implosion escalating and more and more people coming out onto the streets and lifting their voices in protest, a measure that I highly commend and welcome, see Iceland for examples of how effective this can be as a tool for democracy, this article reports on a study calling on the EU to encourage the growth of social schemes for poor nations through aid as well as offering expertise. Here's the best bit. Drawing on Europe's own experience in providing universal health and pension systems. Nice. Whilst the European Union citizens are struggling to cope with the economic crisis, the continent's criminals are cashing in. Europol said that some 3,600 organised gangs are exploiting the crisis and the increasingly interconnected world to generate illicit profits at low risk whilst also continuing to mine their more traditional illegal markets of drug smuggling and human trafficking. This article also goes on to say the crisis may also have resulted in increased susceptibility to corruption by individuals occupying key positions in the public sector especially in countries where large salary cuts have taken place. What? Corrupt politicians operating outside the law, committing theft and fraud? Surely not. The European Commission is frustrated that its member states have, on the most part, failed to take action against Apple Incorporated for flouting EU law. In 2011, Apple was fined €900,000 by Italian authorities for misleading advertising relating to its Apple Care protection service. In short, EU consumer law dictates that consumers are entitled to two years of warranty. Apple, however, only provided one, with an additional premium warranty bolt-on for an additional year. The article goes on to detail other cases around the globe that appear to be making Apple rather unpopular. Today in our video library, this is an excellent outsider view of the Cypriot banking bailout situation. David Knight presents the story for Infowars.com via The Alex Jones Show. This is a must watch as it really details just how tyrannical and kleptocratic the EU Nazgul have become as they resort to panic tactics and flounder in the flood of the collapsing EU project. Easter, I think of hot crust buns, of chocolate eggs and holidays, on treasure hunts, what fun. But then I start to wonder, why is there all this fuss? What does Easter really mean to others and to us? 
I'm reminded by the story of Easter and the trial of Jesus by Pontius Pilate. The priests moved through the crowd, telling lies about Jesus and instilling fear and hatred amongst them. In reality, it was the priests who were afraid, scared that Jesus' humble representation of the people might threaten their status, wealth and power. Isn't it interesting that through more than 2,000 years, both the politicians and the people still have learned nothing? That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. And do remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. You can now join us in our live Question Time style online show, The Unit Interactive. This is broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit, on Google+. Links to the community pages are below. Finally, the Nightly News is taking a short break for the Easter holiday period. I will return with the Nightly News on Monday, the 8th of April, at 6pm. But let me leave you with a verse to ponder over the Easter period. This comes from Matthew 18, verses 18 to 20. Truly I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. Only together with our voices united can we invoke change. Rick Timmis, for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>